Get Ready for Second Grade, Amber Brown. Written by Paula Danziger. Illustrated by Tony Ross. The good news is that I, Amber Brown, am going to be a second grader. The bad news is that Mrs. Wilson, the second grade teacher, had to quit two weeks ago. Her husband got a new job and they moved. Anyone who was ever a second grader loved Mrs. Wilson and said she was a great teacher. She used to smile at me in the hall. Now there's going to be a new teacher. I don't know her. She doesn't know me. What if she doesn't like me? I try not to think about it. In just an hour, I will find out who the second grade teacher is. Right now, I will get ready for school. On my bed are all my school supplies, new pens and pencils, a new notebook, and my lucky pen with purple feathers. I unzip my new teddy bear backpack. My Aunt Pam sent it to me. She said that it's an enjoy second grade present. I named him Bear Lee. His full name is Bear Lee Brown because he's barely brown and he's barely ready for second grade, just like me. I put everything in my backpack and zip it up Barely, I say, you are so special. Everyone is going to like you except Hannah Burton. But don't worry, she is mean to a lot of people, especially me. Amber, my mom calls upstairs. It's time for breakfast. I pick up Barely and look in the mirror. I'm wearing my new clothes. On my knee is a scab. It is almost ready to fall off. I named it Scabulous. Barely Scabulous and I are ready. Second grade, here we come. Breakfast. Mom and Dad have breakfast with me. You look beautiful, Dad says. I smile at him. You look smart, he continues. You look like everybody will want you to be their best friend. Mom puts a bowl of cereal in front of me. I know that this is going to be a great year for you, she says. I, Amber Brown, know that they are just saying that because they are my mom and dad. There's a knock on the door. It's Justin, my best friend. He's wearing his new Roboman backpack. My dad is driving Justin and me to school. Justin says, this year I'm going to tell chicken jokes. I just look at him. Why did the chicken cross the playground? He asks. I think about it. To get to second grade? He makes a face. No, silly. To get to the other slide. My father laughs and so do I. We get out of the car and go to the playground. That's where second graders meet before school starts. Jimmy Russell and Bobby Clifford are wrestling on the ground in their brand new school clothes. Vinny Simmons is showing everyone the snake tattoo in his arm. Even though he tells everyone it is real, I can tell that it's not. I stick my fingers in my mouth to get it wet. I ask Vinny to let me look at the tattoo. I touch it with my wet fingers. Some of it comes off. I don't say anything, but I, Amber Brown, know for sure that the tattoo is not on Vinny's arm forever. Vinny knows I know. He sticks out his tongue at me. Gregory Gifford and Freddy Romano are showing each other the tricks that they have learned over the summer. Gregory can whistle standing on his hands. Freddy can recite 15 state capitals and do armpit music at the same time. The girls are talking about the new teacher. Alicia Sanchez says that her name is Miss Light. I hear that she really wants to teach high school students, Alicia says. 
I hear that she calls second graders knee biters, Naomi Swartz adds. Tiffany Schroeder holds on to her good luck Barbie doll. I'm scared, she says. I want Mrs. Wilson to come back. Hannah Burton joins our group. She looks at my backpack. How baby Amber. A second grader shouldn't wear a baby backpack that looks like a teddy bear. I am not going to let Hannah ruin second grade for me. I ignore Hannah Burton. Naomi and Alicia put their animal backpacks down next to Bear Lee and look at Hannah. She shrugs and mumbles, babies. My class talks about Miss Light and the things that we are worried about. I wasn't so worried until we all started talking. What if she gives seven hours of homework? What if she gets really upset if we color outside the lines? What if she doesn't give out bathroom passes? What if she's an alien from some foreign planet? The bell rings. It's time to meet Miss Light. We all go inside room two. Miss Light doesn't look like any teacher I've ever seen before. She looks like a high school kid or a babysitter. She's wearing a denim dress. There are all sorts of patches and pins on it. School buses, pens, pencils, chalk, books, paper. She's got on earrings that are shaped like light bulbs. And they light up. I get it. Miss Light. Light bulbs. She smiles and says, hello and welcome to each of us as we go in. She even says hello to Bear Lee. I'm beginning to think that Miss Light might be okay. The entire room is decorated. We go to the seats where our names are written on cardboard cutouts of light bulbs. I'm sitting with Frederick Allen. I hope that over the summer he stopped picking his nose. I'm sitting with Justin Daniels. Hooray! I'm sitting with Hannah Burton. Yuck. Hannah looks at my name on the cardboard light bulb. Amber Brown? What a sap you are. You probably don't even know that amber comes from tree sap. Sometimes there are things like spiders and bugs in it. I know she is right about that. My mom gave me a book about amber and my dad gave me an amber pendant with a little fly in it. Hannah makes a face at me. That's it. I say, look, Hannah Burpton, stop it. Frederick Allen says, Hannah Burpton. Justin starts singing, unhappy Burpton to you. Miss Light stands at the front of the room. Welcome to second grade, she says and smiles at us. This is going to be such an exciting school year. We are going to learn new things about the world and ourselves. She continues, as you know, my name is Miss Light. Do you know what the word light means? I raise my hand quickly. I want to be the first person to answer a question in second grade. Everyone else has a hand raised. Miss Light chooses Frederick. Light is a kind of energy, he says. Frederick Allen is very smart. Miss Light beams at him. I guess that makes him a light beam. She says, absolutely right. Light helps us to see things. Most of our light comes from the sun. Some of our light comes from the moon. We get light from electricity when we flick a switch. Justin pretends to put his finger in a make-believe socket. Zzzzing. Miss Light nods at him. That can really happen. Electricity can be very powerful. Wow we all say. She grins at me. Amber, do you know what your name has to do with the word electricity? I shake my head no. She continues. The word electricity comes from the word electron. Electricity is flowing electrons. The Greek word for electron is? Everyone looks at me. Amber, Mrs. Light says. 
I light up. I, Amber Brown, am so happy. I guess now that I know about electricity, I can say that I am all charged up. Turning to Justin, I grin. He gives me a thumbs up. Way to go. I look at Hannah Burton. I smile and cross my eyes. Miss Light continues. I want all of you to have lots of energy to learn and to grow. I, Miss Light, want to help you shine as students. From now on, you are going to be the group known as the Bright Lights. We all grin. Next, Miss Light gives us all the rules we will follow in second grade. We will be respectful, we will be on time, we will do our work. Then she picks up a book from her desk and goes to her rocking chair. She starts reading us a book. It's a chapter book. Hooray! By the end of the year, I, Amber Brown, am going to be able to read a chapter book all on my own. And next year, when I go to third grade, I'm going to tell the new second graders that they don't have to be scared. I, Amber Brown, am ready for second grade.